Good morning, Parkville. Welcome back to the PTV News. My name is Rafi. My name is Isaac. Today is Wednesday, May 9th, and it is a CETA. And my name is Rashad. We've got a throwback special segment for you today. Stay tuned for that and more coming up after the pledge. I pledge PTV would like to give a birthday shout out to Elise, Alyssa Heater, Damien Williams, Alyssa Hossman, and Autumn Whiteford. Happy birthday to all of you. Park testing will continue today, this time with the 7th grade starting their math portion. Mods 1 and 4 will be swapped today, meaning we will follow a schedule of 4, 2, 3, 1. Also because of testing, some classes will meet in different locations than normal. Here you can see a list of all room changes for today. Please be sure to report to the correct location. Make sure to move quietly in the hall so that you don't disrupt the testers. Good luck to 7th grade. The Parfield Middle School GSA will meet today after school from 2.45 to 3.40 in the library. The GSA is a club for students at Parfield who identify anywhere on the vast spectrum of gender identities and orientations, as well as their straight allies. Together, we can promote a more safe and accepting learning environment school-wide. For any questions, please see Ms. Soderham in the main office or Ms. Powell in room 109. Permission slips are also available in the guidance office. Parkville will be hosting a STEAM night tomorrow at 6 p.m. There will be sorts of activities related to science, technology, engineering, art, and math. We hope you will come out and enjoy the games and activities. One of the activities being held at STEAM night tomorrow is an edible art competition. All students and faculty are invited to submit a work of art created with food. You can work with your friends or on your own. You will need to bring your edible art to school tomorrow by 6 p.m. The artwork will be exhibited and judged in room 110. If you have any questions, please see your art teacher. We can't wait to see all the edible creations that will be made. Also at STEAM night tomorrow, the science department will be testing your survivor skills. Ms. Waterburn and the Parkville cheerleaders are hosting a recycled survivor fashion contest. Do you have what it takes to find food, water, shelter, and make clothes to protect you from the elements? Will you rise to the challenging or get voted off the island? Join us for challenges, activities, prizes, and more. Hope to see you there. Attention all 8th graders, the award assembly is quickly approaching. There are three awards given out to four individuals. The first is the Golden Apple Award, which is presented to someone who has unselfishly dedicated his or her time to better the school. The second is the Outstanding Educator of the Year Award, which is given to a current educator at Parkville who has made an outstanding contribution to our school this year. Finally, there is the Norris King Award. This award is given to two 8th grade students, one male and one female, who consistently demonstrated shining behavior. We need your help deciding who will win these awards. Fill out the nomination form and drop it off in the awards box in the main office. Nomination forms are also available in the main office. Hurry because nominations are due by this Friday. Nomination, nominate someone deserving today. The annual 8th grade auction will take place on Friday, May 18th. There are many different prizes you can bid on, including a guitar jam session with Mr. Cobb, playing FIFA with Mr. Glodek, cake decorating with Ms. Eckhart, and so much more. Save up those shine chillings so that you can bid on the prize you want to win. This is a reminder that, all, that the silent auction for all grades is running again. The auction works the same as last week. During lunch, place shillings in the bucket of the prize you want to win. The three prizes are posters, books, or chips. The more shillings you submit, the greater chance you will have of winning. Be sure to write your first name and last name neatly. Stay tuned on Friday when we announce the, the second round of winners. This is a reminder to all band members that you will have final rehearsals today. 6th grade during block 2, 8th grade during block 3, and 7th grade during block 1. In addition, band will be hosting their, their spring concert tonight. Hope to see you there. 
Any 8th grade student who received a letter from Ms. Major inviting him or her to interview for Overly High School's AVID program should write his or her name on the sign-up sheet on Ms. Major's door in the school counseling office or email Ms. Major at dmajor at bcps.org. Our special segment today is this highlight reel of Kyle's tech news segment from last year. You heard that right, folks. Check it out. What's up, Parkville? It's Noah here, a 7th grade mass comm student coming at you with a brand new special segment. All of us who were here last year remember Kyle's Tech News segment. His charismatic and witty on-camera personality made Tech News one of the most loved special segments on PTV last year. His interest in the stories he was talking about and the funny skits contained within his show helped it succeed. With that in mind, I've decided to compile a few of my favorite bits and pieces from Tech News last year. Hope you enjoy! What's up, Parkville? What's up, Parkville? What's up, Parkville? It's your boy, Kyle here, obviously here with your weekly major tech news for this week. All right, first things first, St. George. Oh, so here's the deal. We are going to sweep and then muscle up. I learned it from the pros yesterday, if you were watching. I saw. Yeah. All right, first things first, we want to sweep, sweep, muscle up. All right, sweep, sweep. What are you doing? No, 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 no. Muscle love. I'm not doing it right either. Whatever. I learned it from the pros, though, and you did, too. Well, have a good day. Get out. What's up, Parkville? It's your girl, Michaela here, obviously, with your weekly techie. Huh. What is going on? <laughs> okay, whatever. Thanks, Jules. What's up, Parkville? It's your boy, Kyle here. What's what are you doing, doing here? How, how, how did you uh, get in? You know what? Whoa. What's up, Parkville? It's your boy, Kyle here. Oh, I guess I survived. Whoa, all right. Um, let me just get over this mountain. Um, very challenging. <laughs> what is up, everyone? It's Kyle here, obviously, for your week. Hey, guys. It's your boy, Kyle here, obviously. No, 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 no. I'm Kyle. No, no, I'm Kyle. No, I'm Kyle. I'm Kyle. You know what? Whatever. We're both Kyle. Oh, we're cool with Kyle. First thing. The technology is apparent, promise, apparently promising to, cha cha to change our society. The technology is apparent, promise, apparently promising to, cha cha to change our society. Apparent promise, apparently promising to, cha cha to change our society. The second generation of the Wahi Watch will be announced next week at the Mobile World Congress in Barcelona. I probably pronounced that wrong, so uh, yeah. Wahi, yeah, I pronounced that wrong. The second game is called Pokeland. This game is super similar to the 3DS Pokemon Rumble game. If, <laughs> I don't English. Holy heck! It seems to be. It seems massive, to be honest. Then I don't English. Zach said has said that he learned. I don't English. The Galaxy S8. The Galaxy S8. The Galaxy. The Galaxy S8. Ooh, that was a lot. Well, that wraps it up for the tech news today. Yeah, and yeah, um, that uh wraps it up forever, guys. Um, it's good knowing all of you. We love you, Kyle. And uh, best of luck in life. My name is Kyle, and we now go back to the studio. Wow, hope you enjoyed that as much as I did. Anyway, thanks for watching, Parkville. I'm Noah. See you next year on PTV. Woo, that was a throwback. Shout out to Noah Duncan for making that segment. Well, that wraps up our report for today. Thank you, from everyone, for watching at PTV News. My name is Rafi. My name is Isaac. And my name is Rashad. Stay steam, Parkville. <laughs>